Hello, welcome to Type in a Minute. I'm Joseph Caserto. We're going to talk about kerning. Kerning is adjusting the space between letter forms so they look more even. To demonstrate this, we're going to break the letters down to geometric shapes. I've got two squares and a square and a circle. They're mechanically identically the same amount of space apart, but to our eye, the circle looks further away from the square. That's because there's more negative space there. So to compensate, I can move the circle closer to the square, or I can move the two squares further apart. To help you see these spaces a little bit better, turn your type upside down. That'll prevent you from reading it so clearly, or you can squint your eyes so you can get a little bit more contrast between the letter forms. Think this all doesn't matter? Well, it does. Here's a real-world example I once saw. The word was therapist, the kerning was sloppy, there was too much space between the E and the R, and instead the reader saw the rapist. That's very different. Uh, remember, a large space between words mean, means one is ending, the other is starting. So if you kern your type, not only will you get your message across clearer, you'll look like a pro and you might just win that big job. This has been Type in a Minute Kerning. I'm Joseph Caserto.